Hey, what's going on guys? It's Caleb Lancaster with 17 Visuals, and in this After Effects tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to use the music video scribble effect as an overlay. So I made a tutorial, it's one of my most popular tutorials, I made that a few, uh, I think it was about a year ago, like over a year ago now. I made a music video tutorial about this scribble effect. And the main question people had about the scribble effect was how to take it off of the music video itself and use it as a green screen overlay. And even better than a green screen overlay, I'm going to show you guys how to completely make this effect transparent. Um, but I'm going to go from the beginning, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I did it. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is take my music video, and you can use any music video you want, obviously. So I have mine up here in my media bin, and I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to make a new composition. And I'm going to find a part in the video where I want to do the scribble effect. Um, right here looks fine. And uh, using B and N, I'm going to isolate this area of the video. Um, and that looks good to me. So if you need a actual demonstration of how to do the scribble effect, I'm going to leave a link to the original tutorial down in the description for you guys to go and take a look at because this video is not about how to do the scribble effect. It's just about how to make the scribble effect transparent because a lot of people had questions about that. So um, assuming you've watched that tutorial and you know how to do the scribble effect, I'm going to go in here and make sure my duration is set to single frame. All right, so we have our scribble outline done. And I'm, like I said, I'm only gonna do it for one frame. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, press N and trim the comp so that we only have this one little frame here. Uh, so this is super simple and it's really easy. A lot of people had a lot of questions about how to do this. Literally, all you're gonna do is, is once you paint on your video and you make the outline, all you're gonna do is click down on this arrow right here on your actual video clip because you have to do this you have to do this on a video clip to begin with. Even if you want to do it as an overlay, you have to start on a video clip. So I'm going to click this down on this arrow and then find effects. And one thing people didn't really understand is that the whole painting thing, it actually is it's an effect. So when, it, when you go down, you see paint. It's an actual effect. So there's nothing different between adding an effect from over here and dragging on the paint. So you're going to click down on this. And there's a really important button here. It says paint on transparent. If you click that, immediately you're going to get the effect you want. It's going to get rid of the video, but it's going to keep that outline you have. So you get to keep the outline, but get rid of the video, which is what most people wanted. Now, uh, a lot of people think that they have to use this as an overlay or they have to like, because you can, you can do it like that. If you want to like make it a green screen overlay, you can do that. You just press that, add a solid. You press control Y to make a solid, make it green. And you can turn it into a green screen and then you could render this out if you want to do that. But that's, I don't, I mean, there's a better way to do that. All you have to do is if you go uh, onto where your composition panel is, this entire panel, there's this button right here. And if you hold over it, it says toggle transparency grid. And if you click that, you might think that you're drawing or whatever just went away it doesn't uh, what's happening here is it's making the background completely transparent which means that if you were to render it out like this when you drop it on top of another video inside of premiere or after effects or whatever you're only gonna have this outline right here and it's super hard to see but it's there if you look right there and keep an eye on that line I toggle the transparency it's still there so if you render it out like this, rather than having to take out a green screen or a black screen or a blue screen or whatever you're going to use, all you have to do is just drag it on top. It's way easier. So what I'm going to do to render it out is transparent because you have to render it out uh, a specific way. I'm going to go to composition and then add it to the render queue. You can also do control M to add it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here on lossless and I want to change the format from AVI over to QuickTime. And the reason why you need to change it to a QuickTime file is because it's changing the extension from AVI to .mov. And the MOV files are special because they carry transparency. And the really important thing you need to do here, after you change it from AVI to QuickTime, you need to go to Channels and do RGB plus Alpha. And that's gonna render out the RGB channel along with the Alpha channel. And the Alpha channel is this checkered background here. If you see that, that's saying that that's transparent and it's known as an alpha channel. So whenever you render, and if you have that transparency grid on, and you go here, and you go from QuickTime, or from AVI to QuickTime, and you turn on your RGB plus alpha, 
you will render out this video and it will be completely transparent. And I'm gonna go ahead and render out my other uh, video here. And I'm gonna run into Premiere. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how it looks when you render it out correctly. All right, so I've just rendered out my music video test. And as you can see from over here, this is the uh, original example I showed you guys. Now we go into Premiere, we can see I imported it in as a .mov. I drag it on top so we can see that it does have a black background, but all we have to do is move it up one track and then just go ahead and make a color mat so we can show that it actually is completely transparent. I'm gonna make a color mat. I'm gonna make it uh, like a super bright red and I'm going to drag it onto the track below it. And as you can see, completely transparent. There's no green screening or you know blend modes or anything like that. I highly suggest rendering this out transparent as a .mov file, and then you, uh, you should be good. So that's how you use the music video scribble effect as an overlay. If you guys like this tutorial, make sure to give it a like, and you guys can hit subscribe as well. And also, feel free to go ahead and check out my music video and wedding video YouTube channel. I also post tutorials on there and behind the scenes vlogs, all that good stuff. That's located at 17th Visuals. The link will be in the description. I hope to be uploading on this channel more often. I know it's been a while since I posted a video, but um, if you guys have any tutorial requests or suggestions, feel free to leave it in the comments or send me an email. It's always open. Um, that's pretty much it, though. I'll see you guys in the next video.